Back in 2019, two friends, Dave and Alex, started trading in the financial market. Dave was an employee in an IT firm where he received a salary of 15,000 per month, but the salary was not good enough to meet his extra expenses. So he wanted an additional income source to solve this issue. While Alex was in search of a job but was having a difficult time finding one. So he wanted to find a way to make some money during this dry period of his life. Both of them started their trading career with an initial capital of let's say 10000 rupees which is a very basic amount but from a beginner's perspective this is a good amount to start with we can see here that for dev the extra money is just an additional requirement but for alex the money is a necessity so their psychology is different even from the start both of them took some time to learn the basic concepts like stop loss targets reward to risk position sizing and some other important things to start off with both of them used the same broker who gave a maximum leverage of 25x dev was very realistic about the amount of money he wanted to make at the end of the month from his trading capital let's say he wanted to make an extra profit of 3000 rupees which is 30 percentage returns with respect to the capital every month also dev was willing to lose 500 rupees for each trade which is 5 percentage of his capital he also have this habit of keeping a reward to risk of 2 is to 1 per trade meaning he want to earn 1000 rupees per trade for which he is willing to lose 500 rupees dev adjusted his leverage requirement for each of his trades primarily focusing on the position sizing to meet the stop loss requirement of 500 rupees on the other hand alex wanted to double his money within the first month itself which is actually a 100 percentage returns on his trading capital so he took full leverage of 25x from his broker meaning he can now trade shares worth 2.5 lakh rupees and he never hesitated to use the full potential of leverage and purchase shares for the full leverage of 25x even though he had the idea of position sizing reward to risk and stop loss in theory all he was bothered about was the reward at hand and not about the proportionately equal risk he was carrying what he didn't know was that leverage has the potential to enlarge your profits or losses by the same magnitude now the problem with these two approaches is that in the former case it is very calculated having a realistic expectation about his wins and losses managing his risk properly by accurate position sizing and placement of stop losses and thereby consuming only that amount of leverage that is required to keep his risk under control while in the latter case he keeps an unrealistic expectation of doubling his money and in the process of doing it faster he consumes all the leverage that he can get and purchases securities for the full leverage now tell me who will succeed in the longer time frame if you have answered they will succeed over a longer go then you are probably right and it means you understand risk and leverage closely and on the other hand if you have answered alex then you have a long way to go with your trading because in the process alex will eventually blow up his account at some point and might not even turn his head back to trading he will lose all he has in just one bad trade the problem of alex was not in utilizing the full leverage of 25x but it is associated with his inability to keep a realistic expectation of the amount he wanted to make versus the amount of money he was willing to lose per trade so leverage is a double edged sword which can save you as well as kill you so using it carefully is what matters and for this you need to keep risk management in check be it in the form of position sizing or stop loss or reward to risk in order to avoid blowing up your account most often traders with small capital used to take these sort of risk in the market to make exponential gains so let us understand closely at this psychology behind the trading capital how much capital does one need to start trading every person who is new to trading asks this question but is it the right question to ask the answer may not be as obvious as it seems viewed from a conventional standpoint 
you might think that all you need is a minimum amount required to open an account with your brokerage firm which is roughly about 200 or 300 rupees max in case of discount brokers moreover if you want to get started with trading then there are stocks with prices less than a rupee to ones close to 70000 rupees so it's not a matter of how much money you have in your account the capital requirement will vary whether you will be trading in stocks options or future contracts or perhaps a combination of these vehicles it is important to realize however that merely meeting the minimum account size to participate in any of these products does not necessarily put you in a good position to begin a trading career so a more logical question should be asked up front that is how much money do i need not in my trading account but in my bank account of course the nature of this question is very different from asking how much one needs to merely start trading and answering this question may require a degree of personal reflection and maturity which goes much deeper than just calculating how much you have to put in your trading account suppose a novice trader has 25000 rupees to put into his trading account but not a single penny more to compensate it if he or she loses all by trading poorly under such circumstances of losing all the capital it is almost impossible to accept and it could even end that person's trading career just like the example we saw in case of alex so can you expect to trade under such a threat or a fear that this is all the money i have and under no circumstance am i allowed to lose it all probably you won't be able to trade well under such a situation and because confidence is crucial to anyone who seeks success at trading and one of the few things that undermine a trader's confidence so thoroughly is the lingering fear of losing money it's like trading with a gun pointed on one's head and think about the pressure of losing under such a circumstance it perfectly describes a trader who is barely able to cover his monthly households or his business expenses while trying to get good at his or her trading skills with a limited capital this is a problem that has stripped many beginners it makes success far more difficult to achieve when steady profits are needed just to pay your monthly bills so it's far better for a new trader to be financially secure from the start secure enough to the point that an entire year spent without a profit on the learning curve would not impact your lifestyle or threaten your financial security this means that you should have enough money in your bank account to manage your and yours family's expense over a period of an year or two so that even if you are not making considerable profits you won't be in a tight spot or that you won't have that feeling of a gun pointed on your head So the overall idea is to not fool yourselves into believing that merely meeting the minimum capital requirement in trading will suffice. In fact in India for a middle class family of 4 people without having to pay a house rent will cost around 1 lakh rupees per year on an average just to meet the household expenses. So the idea is that you should have 1 lakh or more than 1 lakh for any unprecedented medical expenses in liquid savings in your bank. to see through your first year of trading this is a minimum requirement and this is of course in addition to the sum you will use to fund your trading account so having a sufficient sum in the bank account to meet a year's worth of living expenses will provide you with a cushion against the adversity as well as a psychological barricade against the ups and downs which is a normal part of every trader's learning curve Another way to cope up with this scenario is to continue trading while working for a salary. This will give you the comfort of a stable income every month so that you don't have to rely entirely on trading to meet your expenses. And once you are experienced and confident enough with your strategy and risk management and you have a good amount of money in your bank account, then you can think of quitting your job and decide to trade full time. All that being said the psychology of trading capital will impact your decision making and risk management so always make sure you are staking only the amount which you are willing to lose and still be okay with it i hope this video gave some insights for improvement if it did please do like the video subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to enable notifications so that you won't miss out any further videos You can follow us on Instagram page also the link is in the description I will see you guys in the next video till then see you